I want to slaughter them all, I swear to fucking god. Alright, let me check. Ooh! A senior dilemma. Gossip. Oh, gossip pack. Bring them back. I could get this later, but... Yeah, in the future. For now, let's save. Dispatch. It's kind of nice having, like, nothing to want to murder me right away. Alright, we finally got out of that. We can go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, sure. Got reinforced too. Alright, let's see where it leads me. Oh. Makes it. Let's go. It's not exactly important. I want to get a little bit stronger so I don't have to worry about them chasing after me. But that's going to be a bit... Ugh, strike. Enter hideout. Oh, I don't even need to per per turn these on. They just automatically work. Together! Together. Together. We'll be here forever. <laughs> together. Together. Alrighty then. One more place to go. Open the door. Meow. Oh, a bird. You look up after hearing a bird's cry. Despite being indoors, you see a golden swallow building a nest. The cries seem to be coming from a chick. The golden thread from the nest can be eaten or infused, if in perfect condition. It sells for a high price, but if you fail to obtain it correctly, the chick will die. The nest is fragile, and obtain it will be difficult. Take it. Ooh. What did it say? Mm. Your party leaves the area. Your party leaves the area. We, the trick will die. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna try it. We'll leave the chick to live its life. We're such good people. Mm. Oh, not that heartless, I think. Yes, let's go. Azure Mom Monument. Mm. Oh, well, let's go. The plate book and lamp that were on the ground are damaged in the air. A poltergeist? Try, try yelling. Yes. Grab yells in a bellowing voice then. It seems to have angered the poltergeist, causing everything to pick up speed and crash into your party. Your party pitifully crawls away. <laughs> it's a ghost! Oh no. Mmm, now it's a ring, speaker, ding, activate detection, confirm travel. Mmm. You rattle. However, it doesn't work. Oh darn. One of these days, that thing's gonna work for me. Hi. Oh, surprise! Into an ancient tool. You sense intense mana from the item you found. Time to head back and report to the witch. Well, we found that. I'll go and explore this map. I'll see you guys at the witch. The Atlas Alstella facet resemble resembles, but isn't a Luna. Switch my butt. Let's smash. In I go. Oh, event. Oh my, a monster with suspicious aura stands in your way. It suddenly attacks the moment it notices your party. Oh Let's my. get started! Sup, warning. Looks like we're gonna have to face all three of you. This is gonna be too hard. Oh, oh she just didn't attack at all. Ooh, a couple thousand there. Nice. There we go, it's dead now. God damn, my control is just losing its shit right now. Yay! We won! Oh, this is the fruit of my labor! You somehow managed to defeat the monsters, your part leaves the area. Fantastic. There's a quant Quint little ticket machine on the corner of the station platform. The following is written on the ticket machine. Special express ticket. Stop at all stations along the apartment. Unlimited use. 
The ticket costs 300,000 shells, which is the same as 30,000 silver coins. What do you want you to do? I don't think I have that money. Why buy that when you can walk? Use this. Use those feet. Your party departs full of confidence. Oh wait, up there. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, favorite cr crack art. Nice. Time for another witch report. Record, save. Fanti, that rascal. It's been three days and it's still not back. I guess it did take weeks when it was just the puppet soldiers. So maybe time works differently over there. <sighs> I'm so bored. I could make some friends out of the puppet soldiers if I could summon them here. Eh, probably not. There's not enough mana. Rue, Mr. Pumpleton asked for help with the entryway light. It's gone out. Would you mind taking a look for me? I need to get dinner ready, so it'd be a huge help if you could spare the time. Ah, uh, I'll take care of it after I close up shop. Please do so before the sun goes down, okay? I've got no customers. And there's no sign of Fanti returning, so... Guess I'll get it out of the way. Alright. Outside the general store, black fragments fall from the skies as both space and time appear to warp. However, Nitru steps out unfazed. The upheaval phenomenon again. Feels like I haven't seen the sun in days. Hmm? Huh? Hey, a silver coin. <laughs> Lucky me. Maybe today's all right after all. Apartment ah, entrance. Rue, sorry to bother you. Could I ask for your help? Hello, Mr. Pumpleton. Yes, hello. I can't climb the ladder, and Miss Colbert is too short to reach the bulb. All right. I'll do it. Up you go. Mmm. Pumpleton places a hand on Nachu's bottom and lifts her up. Ooh. Nachu swipes the bulb with a right particular hand. You're such a great help. Come to think of it, you sure have gotten big. Your behind is quite large. You've really grown into a woman. Mm hmm uh, okay. Oh, that reminds me. I recently visited the popular new candy store in Brocken Square. Would you like some? I can't. I've got to get back to the store. Speaking of the store, would you mind asking your mother if she's finally ready to sell it? It's not on a busy street, but there have been several offers. It would be no small sum of money. Her job is quite taxing, is it not? My grandfather treasured that store, so I doubt she'd ever give it up. Really? Well, her mind could change. Just talk with her, won't you? Anyway, swing by the manager's office when you close up shop. I'll have tea ready for you. He was gonna do things to her. Put him down the ground. Oh, I apologize. I didn't see you inside, so I went ahead and let myself in. Huh? Uh, Miss Cece? Indeed. Hello. So, how have things been? Well, I've got a few things for you to take a look at. Uh, oh no. Nachiru is overwhelmed with fear. Sh shit! Hmm? Hmm. Um, uh, I... You can't... See it. Can you? What might that be? Um. Oh, she can see it. Explain? Sh sure. I see. So you've summoned yourself a wandering spirit. Is that right? Uh. Would you mind not 
you know. Of course, I won't tell another soul. If the government were to find out, you would be subjected to magic restriction laws. Right. I appreciate it. Furthermore, it does not matter to me whether or not you use magic. Oh, also, about your request from the other day. What do you think of this? Natrio gives an item to C Cecilia. Oh. Hmm. This item. Cecilia takes her time inspecting it. Ooh. It is indeed emanating an aura of strong mana. This is exactly what I'm looking for. A promise is a promise. I will take it. In return, I'll pay you 20% of what I'll sell this for, as well as twice your asking price. Let's see. How does 100,000 shells sound? Woo! That will equal 10,000 silver coins. Certainly nothing to sneeze at. Mmm. Really? 100,000? It's well worth the investment. The intense mana emanating from this piece is proof that it is a curio. Curio? Yes, allow me to give a proper explanation. My clientele is deeply fascinated by knickknacks. However, they've grown uninterested in the usual antiques. Rare items such as this one are known as curio and are much sought after. If you brought this to me, it must mean you can see its mana, can't you? Oh, um. <laughs> it's probably best not to speak about it. The ability to sense mana is more or less linked to one's potential as a witch. Well, I suppose that means we are both cut from the same cloth. By the way, this curio you brought today, what do you think of it? It's got powerful mana. I mean, there's mana, but it's more like I feel someone's soul or emotions. It's hard to say. Yes, that's exactly right. Curio aren't merely pieces of art containing strong mana. They emit a person's feelings. Also, there are some that can bring about great misfortune to the holder if used incorrectly. Really? I'd appreciate it if you could sell me any you come across. I'd pay a million shells for more potent ones. Uh, Ooh. A million? That much? A hundred thousand silver! Uh. You're not curious about where I've been getting these from? <laughs> you get them from the wardrobe, right? I noticed it the first time I came here. What the fuck? That's too good. She is too good. Oh shit, I'm scared. Huh? I've seen them on rare occasions. Strange items that overflow with mana and are connected to mysterious spaces. I'd honestly prefer it if you sold that wardrobe to me too. But it'd be disrespectful to ask that of you while you're still exploring the interior. Ooh. After all, I have no means of retrieving the curio myself. I don't have a wandering spirit to help me like you do. <laughs> I have faith in your skills after seeing the curio you sold to me today. I believe our business will be rather fruitful. S skills? It was nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, Mr. Pumpleton enters the store. He rubs his belly after twacking against a nearby shelf. Wait, what? Rue, are you here? Oh, I see you have a customer. Well then, this concludes our business. I will return again soon. Oh, the voice actor so you hot. Very mm. much. Say. Would you like to go shopping with me right now? Sorry, Mr. Pumpleton. I'm about to close up shop. And also, I'm super busy. Maybe next time. Go on, shoo! Out, out! Oh. Hey, hey, wait! You're in an awfully good mood. <laughs> Money does wonders, doesn't it? <laughs> look, Fanti. Look at all this money. 100,000 shells! 100,000! Check it out! Oh man, oh man! Is this really happening? We might not even need to sell the store! 
It's all up to you now. Sniff out the meanest, most monofilled. What were they? Curio? Please. Not a problem, Queen. Another round of witch petitions. Ooh, new one. I'm at 35,000, actually. I can't do anything with this here. Okay. Well, we got what we needed. Off we go to another adventure. Alrighty then. That should be getting me out of here somehow. Let's go. Move to the next area. You've just got enough reinforcement in you. Mmm. It's got more reinforcements added in. Alright, let's go. We're at a new area, so the levels are going to be a bit more feisty. Ooh, and a gold move. Thank you. 1,000 XP now. Now we're really going up in numbers. Let's go. Maybe we can get to 10,000 XP if we're lucky. That should be everything on this map, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. You find an expensive looking antique vase. It's rather big, but you might be able to take it with you. Try picking it up? Sure. You know it'll be hard, but you try picking up the vase. It's heavier than you expected. Whoops. You've broken the unexpectedly heavy vase. It looks like there was treasure inside. Nice find. Your party gathers up to scatter items and leave the area. You obtain man dragon bomb and other things. Ooh. Oh, I completely forgot to get the... To get them the jitter worms. Oh, I'm at the next area. Wait, where did it take me? Oh, it took me over here. How unexpected. Then, yep. Confirm. Oh, how nice of it. Oh, we got to here now. Let's go find the curio. The scroll skill allows you to target enemies' weakness. Smash. Oh, that's a hole. Smash. Curio. Hey. Crimson robe. Cool. You sent some dense mana. Found. Yay. Time to return back to the witch. Ooh. Before that, let's- Oh, baby girl! Never mind. I will return then. There's a sign hanging on the train store. Operation suspended. Due to repairs, please wait momentarily until completed. Seems to be out of service for now. It's too difficult to go any further without the ability to detect monsters. For now, focus on completing all of the witches or other requests up to this floor. Your party leaves the area. Okay. Hm. Lucky me. Eh, I want to get a 20. Let's do it. Let's get the 20. Together to will be forever. Alright, let's take it. Uh -oh, did I get my my experience? Well, I like to give them to them all, but I digress. This oh, is a good I have experience. Which part? Report. I got 100,000 shells just for one. I've only scrounged up 50,000 in savings, and she offers to fork over a million? If you keep bringing Kirio back, not only will the store be saved, but I might even be able to buy back Grandpa's apartment. Who is this? Natural mother enters the store. She seems to be somewhat excited. Oh, Mom! I... Oh, Rue! I have the day off today. Would you like to go clothes shopping with me? Your clothes are getting tight, aren't they? I thought it'd be nice to go shopping with you once in a while. No, I'm okay. My clothes are fine. But you're at an age now where you should want to wear more stylish clothes, like skirts or... Oh, oh, I know! A new candy shop opened up near... She's so... Ugh. Relatable. I'm not going! Quit treating me like a kid! Besides... Going with you would be... Oh, of course. Sorry. I should know a girl your age doesn't want to be seen out and about with her old mom. I'm happy to buy clothes for you. But you may not like what I pick. So here's some money for you to buy whatever you like. No, that's not what I... meant. And do be sure to get some fresh air sometime. I'll decide for myself if I want to go outside. So stop nagging me all the time. I can buy clothes with my own money. Use your spare cash to buy clothes for yourself. 
Damn. <sighs> well, if I can at least buy the apartment back, Mom won't have to work at the factory anymore. My savings. I better keep it a secret from her for now. <sighs> Fanti hasn't returned. Maybe I'll go buy some clothes or something. Ah, Rue! Out and about? <laughs> hey. Listen, we should spend some time together soon. Or could it be that you've got a boyfriend or something? Ooh. I suppose all the boys would be scrambling for your attention with a figure like that. Ooh, what a pig. Um, I'm heading out now, so... Just before she leaves, Nachiru hears some students take, talking around the corner. Hmm. She panics and retreats to the general store. Mm. <laughs> Are you for real? Hey, hey! Since we're already out here, you might as well go somewhere fun. No, we can't! We're gonna go shopping after! You're coming with us, right, Mark? Nah, I'll pass. I gotta cook dinner before my sister gets home. Wait, you can cook? Not bad for a guy. You should cook for us! Hear that, guys? Let's hang out at Mark's place next time. That's a big no from me. My sister isn't good with guys. Oh, this general store. Doesn't it belong to What's-Her-Face's family? You know, the one from elementary school? I don't remember. A general store? Want to check it out? Close. Lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> Looks more like a place for knickknacks than a real store. I bet it reeks of mold. Oh, I've got a better idea. There's a new cafe near the square. Want to go there instead? I just got paid today, so it'll be my treat. Really? Yay! Let's go, let's go! <sighs> Actually, I'd rather not. Fanti? Say no. No, I am Steve. Uh, just leave me alone. Got a problem or something? <sighs> yeah, I haven't been to school in a long time. It's full of jerks and airheads anyway. Bet you don't know that school's a cinch for me. Uh, uh, oh, uh. I know. Let's do that auto report thing. I've read about it in my magic book. It's a way for you to write down what you've seen through your vessel. Nachiru sits at her desk, grabs a piece of paper and a pen, and closes her eyes. Oh, and then, and then she envisions I, Tutlord, in a manly hundred-pack body. Ah, uh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm getting hyped. Maybe it's actually pretty fun down there. Naturu pens rise at a startling pace. This isn't the work of a regular human. We did it. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, huh. I mean, there are some parts that aren't making a whole lot of sense. It looks like the apartment, but it's been turned into a labyrinth. There are also some sketchy creatures. Bloody battles against magical beasts undetectable until you encounter them that doesn't exactly scream fun to me yeah i suppose i'll just leave the exploring to you and the puppet soldiers but at least i know why it's so difficult now it sure seems tough to not be able to see any threats i think i saw just the thing to deal with that in pole's book of magic so Okay, I'll figure something out for you. There! I'd say this turned out well. Alchemy is my forte, though I have to say I'm pretty darn good at everything I do. 
She feels a piece of parchment with that, with what looks like witch's ruin on it, to the lantern. Oh, another phantasmability! Fantastic ability! What the? You learned phantasm and ability. Enemy side level two. Ah, Here. Ah, ah. Now head back to the other side and keep exploring the parallel apartment labyrinth. It's our chance to earn a big payout. I'm counting on you, Fanti. Yes, ma'am. You obtained the phantasm ability. Enemy side level two. Hmm. Ooh, request memo. Oh, a lot of them. Romantic presents, sweet and sour. Ooh. Uh, wedding, wedding gloves, candy, rainbow candy. Ooh, unrequited ring. Ah, uh, I could get gossip pack if I get winter's stone. But that's gonna take a bit. Ho! Oh, right in Let's the fight. Let's get started. Oh, I forgot to repair her. I don't here. <laughs> All right, another round of exploring this entire map. Together, together, gonna take the poop forever. I forgot what she go with anything other than lamps. No, let's give her a shield then. Hey, lucky me. Next area. This should be yep, yep it is. Will be Kaye. Oh, there that game. Hey, find another curio. Pot of honey. Pot of honey, that is some intense curio. Oh, surprise me again. Don't lower your Hey, we got soul. Nice. So anything. Eh, star animus. Don't really care too much. Let's see what the report is. Hello. Andy, you're back? I was about to head out, but, uh, you can come with. <sighs> Why is it so sunny? Today of all days. <laughs> the sun's beating down on me. It's so bright. The heat's painful. Alteria City? Students uh, approach from far. This is the freaking worst. Wait, did this say far? Approach from afar. Ah, dude. Uh, this is the freak. Get out of sight, Fanti. <laughs> Nitro pulls her hood over her head, but the wind blows it off. She hurriedly pulls it back up. Oh my. Girl, who is she? Does she go to our school? Whoa, her chest is friggin' huge. Ooh, yeah. You're. Oh, I remember now. She works at the Galeria General Store. We passed it the other day. Oh, didn't you say she was your classmate? Shouldn't you say hi? Nah, it's fine. I haven't seen her in years, so. Oh, I remember now. She's the one with the ugly ass mom! Ah! Oh. Hey, Nachi. Mark. Nachi tries to ignore him and keeps walking. Hey, don't ignore me! What? Whoa. What a bad attitude. Was she like this before? The other guys tries to look at Nachi's face. Hey, listen, Mark, Let you're. Let me get a look. Did you end up as ugly as your mom? Listen, Mark, you're the reason why this happened. Oh shit. The air surrounding Nitro tremors slightly, and magical power crackles all around. You fucked up, girl. Huh? What? What's going on? Whoops. Hold it right there. Hey, folks. Huh? Wait, no way! Oh my gosh! Madam Kit from the Society? Oh. Whoa. The immortal witch Kit Kat? Awesome! W wait! Y your autograph! Can you give me your autograph? They begin to crowd like hey, around huh? Kit Kat. Long time no see. 
Remember me? She is stalking. What's your deal? Come on. I'm gonna take you on a date. Oh, hell the, no. The hell? Kit Kat grabs Nachiru's hand and quickly casts a teleportation spell. Wee! <laughs> I think I would have been a better um, teleporting spell. Back alleys. Huh? What happened? Oh, you don't know. It was just some teleportation magic. Some people call it portal powers. That wasn't your first time, was it? Your Kit Kat? The immortal witch? Oh, yeah, that's what they call me. A witch. So you were a woman after all. Hmm? Huh? Did I say otherwise? So? What do you want from me? I did call this a date, but that's not why I picked you up today. Too bad for you. Oh, shit. Those planes sure are loud. I guess the environmental agency's running around like headless chickens since the UP's getting worse. Look, I don't care about that. What I want to know is where you're trying to take me. Relax, I'm not kidnapping you. Don't be so uptight. Besides, we're already here. Kit Kat knocks on the door in the back alleys. Oh. Open up, it's me! Madam. Just a moment, Madam Kit Kat. <sighs> I've brought her with me, Oracle. Much appreciated. Oh! See, it was just as I predicted, wasn't it? No way! Eureka! <laughs> oh my god, one moment. <laughs> The Oracle? You? Uh, really? Of course. And it's up to you whether the following conversation will be a good thing or not. Hey, could you take my business card out from your front pocket? My front pocket? Nature finds a crumpled a black business card in her front pocket. Okay, I huh? knew it. I threw it away. Well, would you look at that? Cardstock's black. You used magic, didn't you? I don't know where you learned, but you'll be going to jail for obstruction, illegal use of magic, violating magical regulations, to name a few. Even if we factor in your age, your crimes are so severe that time in juvenile detention won't be nearly enough. What a shame. What? Didn't you read my business card? Letters begin to appear on the card. Moon Society. The Witch Brigade. It's a little late for introductions, but that's our name. And we're ready to make you an offer. Kit, just get to the point already. You don't always have to talk so much. Yeah, yeah, Miss Yuru. Madam Kit Kat, you may be a Moon Society witch. But your attitude towards the Oracle is entirely too disrespectful. It's fine. Don't bother. She won't listen, no matter how many times you scold her. She'll be punished in due time. Huh. Or... the Great Oracle? The one who's supposed to protect the world and never shows her face. Yuru. Uh, <laughs> you can't really be Yuru. And what might your name be, little girl? Ooh. See what I mean? Aren't you supposed to know everything? You shouldn't have to ask my name. That proves you're fake. Ooh. <laughs> You've got Damn. some guts mouthing off to Yuru like that. 
Pretty ballsy of you. Silence, Kit. Your disrespectful attitude is a bad influence on her. My bad. Listen here, brat. Names are to be stated for use. That is how they achieve their true purpose. What? That's exactly what a shady fortune teller would say. Ooh, oh, yeah. You dare claim that I, the Great Oracle, am nothing more than a shady fortune teller? Very well. I shall read you then. Guru. Silence. Have no fear. Hmm. I see. Yes, you currently live an impoverished life with another. Your mother. You do nothing, are nothing, and you don't even leave the house. Cooped up. Cooped. What is this? You don't do anything else? You're just like a beast. All you do is eat, sleep, and follow your selfish desires. <sighs> I've seen enough. Huh? What the heck? That all you got? You really are nothing but a big faker. Dang. I'm sorry. Did you want me to bring up your incurable disease? Everyone dies eventually. Your illness is not an immediate threat. As an oracle, it's a trifle. It isn't even worth discussion. <laughs> the hell? But Kit's right. You do have the makings of a witch. That makes you worth my time. Listen, whelp. By the order of the Oracle, you shall join the Moon Society's ranks and protect Alstella as a member of the Witch Brigade. This is a decree put forth by the Oracle. You have a major task before you. Hey, Yuru. Maybe you should zip it now. Hm. It's only the Manania Guard. But very well. I see your point. Let's depart. What? Don't I get a say? I... Are you turning it down? If that's what you want, then so be it. Starting tomorrow, you live in a jail cell. <laughs> Why are you so freaking uppity when you can't do jack shit? Ooh. If you really are the Oracle, then stop the UP. My grandpa died from the ash affliction all because of the stupid UP. Your grandfather, you say. Disrespectful child, you dare test me once more? What is this nonsense you're spouting? Your grandfather was a victim of poisoning. I have a general idea of this person's character now. Neither I nor the organization associated with me need such a liability. <laughs> Excuse me? I can't have you causing trouble in the society. Not when we've already got our hands full with the environmental agency. I've had enough. Goodbye. We shan't go lightly on you, regardless of your age. Under the witch hunt laws, you may even stand trial. If found guilty, your family and immediate acquaintances will be sentenced to death. I'm sure you're well aware. And that store you run with the hag will go down too. Don't you two make quite the pair? A weak heart who can't accept her ugly face. Don't you dare insult my mom! Now, now, that's enough from both of you. I knew this would happen. You and the Oracle were bound to butt heads. Screw you! I don't care if you're the Oracle, Yuru. You're a scumbag first. Dang! How insolent! Know your place! The guard punches Nitro right in the stomach! And she barbs up rainbows. <laughs> Pain and frustrations brings tears to Nichiru, not, to Nichiru's eyes as she empties her stomach. Oh. How dare you insult my mom. <laughs> Apologize, you hack! You still won't hold your tongue? It's called freedom of speech, asshole! Apologize! Right now! Say you're sorry! <sighs> Freedom, hmm? Resorting to platitudes, are we? Ah, but I see it all, you know. You're just a coward running from her torment. Not only are you awful to that ugly hag, but you can't accept her. 
Even in your heart of hearts, you hate her appearance, and you're crippled with fear at the thought that you'll grow up to be just like her. What? Do you still think you're in any place to question me? Look in the mirror before calling anyone else a scumbag. No! Y you don't know what you're talking about! The guards restrained Natru from attacking. <laughs> Madam Oracle, your meeting with the Prime Minister is due to begin shortly. Hm. I'm aware. Farewell, girl. Can you stand? You should head home for now. Damn it! A society member will pay you another visit once we've confirmed our suspicions. It might only be three days. Make sure you keep your mouth shut about what the Oracle said. Don't say anything. No matter what. We clear? Oh, and there's no point in trying to flee. Mommy Dearest would break down in tears if you ran away from home. Kit Kat leans in to whisper to Nachiru's ear. Don't you ever underestimate a witch. <laughs> Just kidding. Put your affairs in order while you're at it, okay? I mean, not that I think that you have any. I want to slaughter them all, I swear to <laughs> fucking god. I was just about to grab an umbrella and head out to look for you. Oh. Wait, did she say, huh? Oh no, she actually just did that. Oh. Okay. I'll run a bath, so hop in right away. You'll catch a cold otherwise. Oh. And a tall woman dropped by just now. What? Who was it? Kit Kat? Kit Kat? Are you referring to that famous witch? <laughs> no, no. It was the female customer from before. <sighs> I told her you were out. So she said she'd stop by again in two or three days. Nacho's mother leaves the room to start a hot bath of bubbles and bombs. Bubble bomb. did things turn out like this? If mom finds out about the jail thing, she'll be really sad. Three days. I just need to earn as much as I can before then. Don't be sad, cause sad spelled backwards is death and that's not good. Ah, ah, Fenty, ah. find the most expensive looking thing you can. Alright, time to find the most expensive thing I can. Book to kill time. Gothic ribbon. Lovely pleasures. Cool. Dramatic pack. Oh, record. Save.